a loan can be of two types a fixed interest rate for the life of the loan or a variable interest rate often these loans have an interest rate that's tied to a published index such as the london interbank offered rate plus a fixed percentage to create an amortization schedule for a loan with a variable rate first define the input cells define the input cells to enter the known values of the loan i3 loan term i4 payment per year i5 loan amount format i5 as currency to create a loan amortization schedule for a 24 month loan paid monthly where loan amount is 50k and annual interest rate is variable enter 2 in i3 12 in i4 and 50k in i5 enter the column headers period rate payment interest principal and balance total number of periods for this loan is loan term multiplied by payments per year which is 24 enter the period numbers in column a from 0 to 24 format cells c2 to f26 to currency initial balance is the loan amount enter equal to i5 to get the loan amount format the cells b3 to b26 rate column to percentage select the cells and click on number format in the home tab select percentage and select the number of decimal places use a separate table to record the rate changes format the cells where the rate is entered to percentage use the same number of decimal places used in the rate column enter the period numbers where the interest rate changes enter the new interest rate in new rate column for example the starting rate is 3.125 enter 1 in period and 3.125 in rate rate changes at period 7 to 4.75 and period 23 to 3.75 to select the rate from the rate table use vlookup function use this formula the lookup value is the period a3 lookup array is h9 to i11 period and new rate columns from the rate table use absolute reference so that the formula can be copied down column index number is 2 to get the corresponding value from new rate column the rate table has values only for periods where the rate changed so we look up should look for an approximate match pass true as range look up for this to work correctly make sure the period column in rate table is sorted in ascending order the we look up looks for the period number in the rate table and returns the corresponding value copy the formula down to all the periods if exact match is not found the row where the next payment number is larger than the look up value is returned For example when the lookup value is period 10 we lookup returns the second row of the rate table because the period number in the next row 23 is larger than the lookup value to calculate the periodic payment use the pmt function use this formula b3 is the annual interest rate for that period to get periodic interest rate divide that by payments per year use absolute reference pass remaining number of periods as total number of periods subtract total number of periods that is loan term multiplied by payments per year from current period and add 1 pass f2 balance remaining as pv argument the function returns a negative value put a minus sign before the function to return a positive value the formula returns the payment amount for period 1 to calculate the interest use this formula multiply remaining balance in f2 by periodic interest rate 
that is annual interest rate in that period B3 by payments per year in I4. The payment amount is used to pay both the interest and the principal. To calculate the principal, subtract interest from the payment amount. Use this formula C3 minus D3. To calculate the balance, use this formula F2 minus E3. Subtract the principal from the previous balance. You have all the values for period 1. Copy the formulas down to all the periods. The payment amount changes when rate changes. For example, rate changed in period 7 and the payment amount changed. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.